morning. It's Wednesday, the 13th of July, 6.49am. <laughs> oh no, that one says 6.57, but it's an idiot. It's 6.49, I promise. I've snoozed twice. I got messages. It's time to get up. Oh, jeez. So what's all this about? I don't know, say it now, because there's someone following me. <laughs> oh man, I've never done walking outside and talking to a camera. Well, I've done it once and it was awkward then. It's really awkward now. Jeez. Um, I'll tell you about it later. Okay, so I seem to be a little bit more in the clear now. <laughs> so what's this all about? Well, over the last few weeks and months, I've been more and more unhappy with the state of a lot of things. Got us some bad habits, particularly with my diet, very much so with exercise, and I just need to get on top of it all. And if I do it on my own, because I don't like exercise, <laughs> and I struggle to find time to cook for myself properly for one, because it's kind of boring, it takes a lot of time. So I want to document it. I want to show you guys, take you on the journey for me, so that when I do lapse, you know, and you can tell me off and put me back on track. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's now 7.34. We're back from the walk. And Nelly wants feeding. So we better feed her. Ready breakfast? In terms of exercise, I'm quite limited in what I can do because I'm an idiot. <laughs> when I was 16, I had a motorbike, it was a crosser, and I had an accident and it hit a car coming the other way. And as a result, I did a lot of damage to myself. In fact, I nearly died. I broke my collarbone, which you can't really see, but there's a big old lump sticking out of it. I smashed my right femur, this bone literally split in half, and I lost my spleen, which means I've got a big old scar going up my incredibly wide stomach. Then, just a few years later, I thought, I'll get a quad bike. That's gonna be safer, it's got four wheels. And then I fell off that. This time I didn't hit a car coming the other way, thankfully, but I did, well, my foot went under the wheel as it fell over and I twisted it. And as a result, the, the, menis the meniscal? Meniscus, the, the cartilage that sits in between the knee here uh, had to be removed. It was totally torn. My ligaments in this knee are torn, and my ligaments in this knee are torn. Now I can get away with torn ligaments, providing I don't do too much, and the fact that this knee here is now bone on bone means that I've been advised from a relatively early age, in my early 20s, to not do any impact sports, like, well, running, for one. So jogging, running is out, star jumps, burpees, that sort of thing, anything that's gonna have impact on my knees is out. Now I'm quite lucky the surgeon at the time did say if I didn't have the knee surgery to basically pull the cartilage from the back side of my leg through to the front at the time, I'd probably need it by the time I hit 30. And I'm 38 now, which means I'm on eight years with the borrowed time. So I need to be careful with my knees. So what I am gonna be doing is bike right. I bought myself this new weights bench. I got myself some weights. So yeah, I'm basically gonna be doing a mixture of weights and bike rides and floor exercises, which should be fine. Cause I don't need to build, I don't wanna be a bodybuilder. I just wanna lose a bit of weight and get fitter and tone up. However, I'm not gonna manage that on exercise alone. Exercise alone isn't gonna cut it. I need to drastically change my diet as well because as Joe Wick says, you can't out-train a bad diet. Which is true. So I need to start eating properly. And one of the biggest problems I've got is I don't eat breakfast and I normally snack at night. 
two habits that are very hard to fix. So I need to have some breakfast. Oh, I really don't fancy, I never fancy breakfast. So this is gonna be, I know it sounds stupid, it's gonna be so hard for you getting yourself some breakfast. Yeah, it is. You don't understand. Now, of course, it'd be really easy for me just to grab a big old bowl of Frosties. Well, that's not really gonna do me so much good. And I think Oliver would be pretty annoyed at me for eating all of his Frosties. So instead, I'm gonna have a bagel. That bit of watercress rocking spinach really, really helping it be a horrible breakfast. I hate breakfast. Now I'm human. So it is now 10 past eight or 11 minutes past eight. And that means I would normally be getting ready to go on the computer, start working. However, today's gonna to be a bit of an unusual day because I forgot to take Oliver's trainers with him to school yesterday, which means I now gotta go and take his trainers to him at school today. And that's for quarter nine. So I've got a few minutes. Well, that's his shoes delivered. It is now. 10 to 9, and now I need to actually do some work. Oh, jeez. And GoPro batteries are rubbish. I put this one in brand new this morning, it was 100%, and now it's on 6%, and I've done nothing. 6%? That's rubbish. <laughs> Good job I've got spares. Jeez. Okay, so that's that little job out the way. Back home again. There's something I forgot to do this morning. Obviously, if I'm going to be doing a diary of weight and exercise and all that sort of stuff, I suppose I should probably have a look at how much I weigh. Now, I normally do this first thing in the morning because, well, generally that's when you're at your lightest and if you do it at a consistent time of day, then you get more accurate results. But I haven't done that today, but I want to show you guys anyway because I want to punish myself. So I've got my scales out. I've got my feet. I'm going to stand on the scales and be incredibly heavy. Oh, jeez. And I have this scales attached to a lovely app, which you should hopefully see on screen right now, which tells me I'm heavy. And it also tells me don't get off the scale. There we go. So, 15 stone. My goal is 12 stone. Whether we'll get there or not, I don't know. I've got no particular time scale. My BMI is in the obesity range. My body fat is in the obesity range. But otherwise, oh, my metabolic age isn't brilliant, but otherwise it's not too bad. It could be worse. Now, obviously these are cheapo scales and probably not the best things in the world, probably not the most accurate, but it's a good representation of progression. And if you go back over the years on this, you can see I've been putting in plenty of data points for a long, 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 long time. And um, yeah, I'm pretty much the heaviest I've ever been at this particular moment in time, which isn't ideal. Hence what I'm doing. So yeah, back to work and then more exercise and food and all that good stuff. It is now 25 past 10 and I should have been making Minecraft videos. Oh, my hair. Wow, I need a haircut. This wispy bit at the front, it's so annoying. I know it's gross. I know I look awful. What can I do? I need a haircut. My hairdresser's on holiday. It'll be fine. I'll get it sorted. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, um, plan for today was to make um, the next set of my story video. I'm doing, currently doing some story live for Trudy Bedrock, which is a Minecraft video. However... I spent all morning editing this video so far and I'm enjoying it. So don't, you know, shh, I'm working, all right? You're getting content. What more do you want from me? Jeez. Okay. I've thought about it for a good five minutes and I've decided I'm not going to do the storyline video today because the next bit of it is going to be a massive hassle. It's going to be a huge hassle because I've got to get basically all of my characters on screen at the same time, which means I need multiple devices and controllers and all that sort of stuff. So instead... Uh, I'm going to do what I should have also been doing this morning, which is updating all of my add-ons for Minecraft 1.19.10, as that was released yesterday. I also need to send the files to my website for the comparison system. So I've got a bunch of work to do for that. So I'm going to do that instead, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to get all that done before lunchtime. And then we can think about lunch. And now, thanks to the magic of my very fancy and handy admin website, that's all done apart from a couple of add-ons. I had an issue with mob heads for some reason. I got some errors while it was automatically building the new pack, so I need to look into that. So unfortunately, I'm not going to get that done before lunch because, well, 
It's close enough. Close enough to be in lunchtime. Nelly's been asking me for a dinner already, so I'm going to sort that out. And before I have dinner, I'm going to do some exercise. Good girl, get it then. Good girl. So I went on a long bike ride yesterday, which means today should be weights day because I want to alternate the two. And that means I need to organize a weights routine because I haven't actually done that yet. However, Many, many years ago, when I did used to be fit and healthy and I used to go to the gym three times a week, I did have quite a good weights routine then and I'm pretty sure I can adapt that to fit now. So I've downloaded another app, or at least I did the other day, that's called Strong. And in this Strong app, you can basically set up workout routines. So I've set up three. I'm on the free one, I haven't paid for it. And I've got my core ones, which is just gonna be my floor exercises, weights, and then legs for obviously I don't wanna skip leg day. And it's really hot, so, oh geez, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done any weights. I, um, I feel weak. <laughs> but I think I've achieved quite a lot considering it's the first time I've done any in a long time. My uh, muscles ache, they feel very swollen. I, I think that was good before I have lunch. I need a shower, jeez. Oh man, I'm gross. Okay, so I'm back in the kitchen, which can only mean one thing. It's time for lunch, and yes, I'm still a bit out of breath. Now I went through my recipe books and I actually printed out a load of the recipes. And you might be thinking, why do you bother printing them out if you've already got the recipe book? And that's because I make a mess when I'm cooking and my recipe book's pages all started sticking together. So I thought, if they're just on rubbish bits of paper, I don't need to worry about it. And this is what I'm gonna be having, although I'm not gonna be cooking it because I made it yesterday and I've already had half of it. So all I gotta do for lunch is get it out the fridge, put it in the microwave, and then eat it when it's done. Easy. Well, while I'm in here waiting for the microwave to go tick, I might as well do all of the washing up and recycling that I didn't do yesterday when I was cooking because I couldn't be bothered. So I say washing up, I'm going to fill the dishwasher up. Which is currently full of clean things. I'm an empty attack, oh what a job. What a hard life I live. There we go. Just enough time for dinner to be served. And what's the point in wasting a plate or bowl? Might as well eat it out the tub. Let's do this. So this meal is from Joe Wicks's Lean In 15 Minutes cookbook, which was bought for me, and it's got a lot of meals and tasty things in it. I'm not sponsored by any of these things, by the way. I just really like it. So I haven't quite done it to the exact recipe because he wanted to use tagliatelle and I didn't have any of that. And um, I used beef meatballs instead of turkey ones just because they're the ones I had in. But other than that, it's really nice. It's very, very tasty and very good. Although it's still surprisingly cold. I think it could have done the longer in the microwave. Okay. Oh, grabs. Oh. Well, it's just gone past one o'clock, which can only mean one thing. It's time to go back to work. And, oh man, I'm still really feeling it. I'm really feeling that workout. Maybe I probably shouldn't have eaten so quickly after it because I feel a bit sick now. But this always happens after I've done a lot of exercise, after I haven't done a lot of exercise for a long time. So that'll get easier. But yeah, I think the next half an hour or so, I'm probably just going to feel a bit rubbish. I'm also still ridiculously hot, very sweaty. Probably could do with another shower if I'm being honest, but not going to have a shower. I'm going to crack on fixing these mob head packs and getting these websites updated and probably editing some more of this video. edited more of this video when I did fix the mob heads one it's because there's a new trade alarma it's a new entity they've added in 1.19.10 and it broke my mob heads pack but now it's all fixed it's working it's all on the website updated now normally at this time of day around about three o'clock ish is when I take Nelly out for a second walk however recently I've not been doing it because it's been so hot however today 
It is only 20 degrees, which is still pretty hot to be taking a dog for a run on a, like a bike ride or something, but I think a gentle stroll, probably the same place we went this morning, will be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna relax for a bit, which is very unusual. Of course, a good place to take a dog on a hot day for a walk is in the woods, which is handy because it's quite close by, very easy to get to, it's nice and shaded, which means it's nice and cool. Now obviously I've done a lot of recording today, I've done a lot of speaking to you guys. I'm not going to be doing this every single day because then I won't, definitely won't get anything else done. But I am going to try and keep recording at least a few things each day and probably putting these out as a weekly thing rather than a daily thing. So, uh, well, we'll see how it goes at the end of the day. It's going to come down to whether you guys respond to it or not. So if you enjoy this, if you're enjoying it, if you like it, please do like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much. Oh, and leave a comment. You probably have already told me I've done all my exercises wrong and I'm eating the wrong thing and, you know, all of these different fad diets that I should be trying. But, well, all good comments, aren't they? So thank you, if you have. So while we're out and about, I should probably tell you that I'm filming on all of this on the GoPro Hero 10 Black. Again, not sponsored. I just thought you'd be interested to know. It's lightweight, it's compact, it attaches to literally everything in the world. The batteries are rubbish. They're not the last five minutes. But other than that, it's good enough quality. It's pretty good. Now, as you can probably tell, oh, you're getting a big stick, James. You can't, it's too, that's too big. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good girl, well done. Oh, look at you, big clever girl with a big stick. Oh my goodness, what a smart girl you are. Anyway, as I was saying, in the light, when it's really bright and sunny like it is today, which we don't often get in the UK, to be fair, the GoPro quality is really good. I, I can't knock it, it's, it's really good for a tiny little camera. It does get ridiculously hot, the unit itself, which is not ideal. But um, in dark, in the dark, when it's low light, like I'm about to go under these trees now, it does get really grainy and it's not ever so sharp. So I was supposed to get delivery of today, a, a nice little light mount for the top and a new, well, better microphone for it, but it's, it's not turned off. I just got an email saying it's coming tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow's video should hopefully look a little bit better than these ones. And if you are interested in all this stuff, I do have Amazon affiliate links in the description below this video. If you're interested in it and you want to buy some, if you click on them links, it helps me out a little bit. Speaking of helping me out a bit, as I said, when I got back, I'm going to actually relax for a bit, which is something else I'm in a really bad habit of not doing, taking time for myself. I sit all day in front of the computer generally, and then I live stream on an evening, which I'm going to be doing tonight. And I don't really take a great deal of time off. My normal me time is sort of 10 p.m. onwards. And because I'm trying to, you know, get healthier, get fitter, I want my sleep to improve as well. You know what I mean? Just some me time. Time for me for a change. Speaking of me time, Nelly has been asking me for her dinner for half an hour. You don't eat your dinner until 5 p.m. It's half past three and you think you're starving. What's your problem? Is it because it's so hot? Is it too hot? I'm too hot. I'm sweating now. Should we go in the other room and put the fan on? So it's just about 5 p.m., which means time to start cooking. Nelly's hungry. She wants a dinner. So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to decide what to eat. Good girl. Okay, so for food, I've got a few choices really. Because I did quite a lot of exercise this afternoon, I need some protein, but I don't want a lot of carbohydrates because I had that for lunch, and I want that sitting on my stomach all night, not being used, because I'm not really going to be doing any more exercise today. So, I've got a few choices. And these are the ones that I picked out from the recipe book. So we've got chicken and parmesan melts, which I could do, but I don't really fancy that tonight. I've got a chicken caprice, which again, I don't really fancy that. It doesn't look very big, it's too small. Next we've got chicken and spinach, which again, I don't know really if I fancy that one. This one, which is really nice, I actually have this for breakfast sometimes, which is basically asparagus with eggs, which is really nice. But I've decided that I'm gonna have this one, which I've cooked loads of times. It's really nice and easy, which is tomatoes, eggs, and chorizo. Lots of protein, not too much carbohydrate, and very, very tasty. Very nice. 
nice. And that's another one by Joe Wicks if you're interested. And it is definitely, in fact, it was massive. It didn't look great. <laughs> it looked like a mess on the plate, but it's very tasty. Very tasty indeed. Right, um, I've had a bit of company round, so it's actually 20 to seven now, which means I've only got 20 minutes to get rid of a, get rid of a live stream? Get ready for a live stream. I don't want to get rid of it. So uh, yeah, time to start getting prepared. Now quarter past nine, the live stream is over, and that's pretty much me done for the day. All I'm gonna do now is probably sit down in front of the TV for half an hour, get ready for bed, and that's it, until day two. Thanks for watching, bye. <laughs>